welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a fun little spin on the fitness side of things. And we're gonna be doing a what's in my gym bag. So as a bikini competitor, um, just starting out, I competed in my first bikini competition in March of 2022, so this year. Um, I realized that I was searching the internet high and low to figure out what are the best things to have in my bag as a bikini competitor. And there was very general what's in my gym bag videos, which we all love to see. They have great tips and tricks, but nothing specific to an actual bikini competitor. So I am here to give you guys the ultimate guide on what's in my gym bag as a bikini competitor. So let's get started. Okay, to start off, this is my gym bag. It is a very cute marbled duffel bag from Amazon. I think it was about 20 to $25. And when I tell you this thing is like my Mary Poppins bag, it fits everything. So I will have links for everything that I review in this uh, video for you guys down below. So take a look and shop your little heart away. So we're gonna get started with my supplements. So starting off, we have my pre-workout, which is C4 Ultimate Sour Batch Bro. So I'm actually newly a C4 ambassador. Um, code Sammy Jo Fit gets you guys 20% off. I will put that code here on the screen and the link is below. So this is gonna be the C4 Ultimate. It is their um, ultimate formula. It's got 300 milligrams of caffeine as opposed to their normal formula that has 200 milligrams. Also has beta alanine, L-citrulline, and all the good things that help, you know, stimulate the best workout. And then moving from there, we have Extend, which is um, a branch of C4. So this is actually their original BCAAs. This is for muscle recovery and it is an intra-workout. So I'll take my pre-workout before I get to the gym. And then while I'm working out, I will take my BCAAs. So uh, this one is the Mango Madness flavor. I am such a fiend when it comes to mango flavored things. I absolutely love the taste of these. I will potentially be doing another video about my supplements a little bit more in detail detail for you guys so keep an eye out for that but let's see what else we have in here okay what's a good workout without some music so we have the airpod max pros or airpod pros something like that one of those two so these are the over the head headphones i used to have the airpod pros i just popped in my ear but i noticed a lot of the times while i was working out they would fall out so these over the head ones are absolutely perfect they do have noise canceling and they come with this perfect little carrying case um, which kind of acts as their uh, charging case or not charging case, but it turns the headphones off when you're not wearing them. And then they have the little charging port down here. So I'm an Apple fan. I did try a couple other brands and this one just turned out to be the best and worked the best for me in the gym. So highly, highly recommend these for working out. Okay, so moving on to some equipment. I have my peach booty bands. So this one comes with three different resistance bands, um, three different kind of weights. We have light, medium, and heavy, and that's just the level of resistance that they offer. So they come in their cute little carrying pouch. As you can see, I've had these for a very long time. They're very worn out. Um, I also have my ankle straps for cable kickbacks and a couple other workouts. Um, these are just nice and convenient to have because the gym doesn't always have these available for you. Um, so definitely very convenient. And then some resistance pump bands. I used to these more so at my competition, um, but it's nice to kind of stretch and warm up with these. Again, as always, I'll have the links down below for you guys. They do kind of come in packages. So it's really nice um, and readily available all in one purchase for you guys. So another accessory of mine is going to be my lifting belt. This is a Cardillo's lifting belt. This is a small petite one. Um, so it fits my waist measurements. I'll put their website down below for you guys. Um, I don't have any codes or anything with them, um, but definitely just a really good quality uh, lifting belt company. Their belts come pre-broken in. So there's no like drying, wetting, breaking them in for you and nothing like that. So it literally comes already broken in whatever process you've heard in the past of having to break in a lifting belt that doesn't exist anymore. So um, this is just great to have, especially for me for my off season, um, as I start lifting heavier, hitting more PRs, progressive overload, um, this belt definitely comes in handy. 
and highly recommend this brand. And then, you know, once I get my IFBB Pro card, maybe we'll stitch it. We're just manifesting good things here, you know? Okay, so moving on to the bikini competition aspect of my bag. I have my little blue bag with my beautiful posing heels and my competition heels. So these are the iconic Olympian heel. Um, this is with the ankle strap. I honestly don't know how women wear these without ankle straps, but to each their own, more props to them. Um, I don't have a code with them just yet, but you know, we're manifesting good things, like I said. So again, these are the ones that I competed in my first competition in, and I will probably wear these until they break. These are so comfortable. Um, being on your feet for a very, very long time, honestly, your feet just end up getting numb. But Shoe Fairy is a great company. The little pink box is what every bikini competitor waits for to show up on their doorstep. And I was nothing but impressed with these heels. Just from A to Z, the customer service, they're so sweet. They actually reach out to you via text message directly. Like you're not getting some corporate company who you're just another person. Like they actually care about you. Um, so I highly, highly recommend them. And I will put the link for this below for you guys. Okay, so the second thing, we have our pink little bag from Toxic Angels. They have been nothing but amazing literally since day one of reaching out to them. Um, I actually did an in-person fitting here in California for my actual suit. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But before that, I actually went on and purchased a practice posing suit. So this is the pineapple posing suit. Super cute. They literally have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different posing suit um, patterns. All so fun. Like some of them have pizza, they have uh, animal print, they have solid colors, all super cute and really great quality. And the really fun part about this is that they actually double as regular bikinis. Like you can wear these to the beach or the pool. Um, and then the bottoms and what I do love about these, they do have kind of side ties. So whether you're in your off season or your on season, it's always going to fit you. So you only really have to buy another bathing suit if you just want another print. Otherwise, it'll last you for a very, very long time. And it comes in this cute little carrying case. Um, I just always keep this on me to practice my posing, whether I'm at the gym or where, literally wherever I'm at, it's always accessible for me. Okay, so you guys have all seen this. If you have not seen any of my competition videos, please go check out my, my TikTok, my shorts, and I actually do have a video of why I've competed and all of the Q and A's from that. I'll actually link that above for you guys. Um, but this was my first competition suit. I will most likely wear this again until I go pro. And then when I go pro, I'll do my pro debut in a new bikini. So this is my Toxic Angels bikini. I did do a custom purchase. So I was able to pick each individual crystal on this suit. Um, I'm thinking of possibly doing a separate video talking about this in my experience um, a little bit more in detail for you guys. Um, if that's something that you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments below. Um, but definitely such a fun experience being able to customize my bikini. So closer to my show, I put my posing suit away and I wore my actual suit as soon as I got that in just to kind of have a better idea of how I looked in my suit, what needed to be changed, um, and if any adjustments needed to be made. Okay, and last but not least, just a little extra supplement for fun. I put some liquid IVs here in my bag just for a little bit of extra hydration throughout the day. If I'm feeling a little bit dehydrated, um, a little tired from my workout and need a little kick, I put my liquid IV in my water and call it a day. It's great for hydration and that just extra boost that you guys need. I don't have a code for that either, but we're gonna manifest it. And I will put the link below for you guys to purchase it. But very last but not least, my holy grail of holy grails, my Hydra Jug. This is my lifeline and I do not leave the house without it. It's not really part of my gym bag, but it's part of me. It's literally like a, my child. Um, I fill this up in the morning, drink it throughout the day, if not 
one and a half to two. I do drink a gallon to a gallon and a half a day. Um, so I do fill this up at some point, but again, this is my holy grail. Hydro Jug used to only have half gallon jugs, uh, but they did recently come out with gallon jugs. So again, my lifeline here, if you're not drinking water, this is your sign to drink a gallon of water a day. Buy yourself a Hydro Jug. I will put the links below for you guys. And I'm in the works to get a code with Hydro Jug. So I will update that as soon as that happens but definitely a must have for fitness and just life in general. Alrighty guys, so that sums up my ultimate guide to what is in my gym bag as a bikini competitor on an off season. I hope this helped you guys. I know for me being a first timer, I was looking for any and every piece of advice I could get on what I needed in my gym bag. So you'll kind of learn as you go to the things that you are and you aren't gonna need, what works best for you, what works best for your workouts, the time of day, your schedule, all of the above, right? And then your gym bag is also going to kind of transform and change over time. You're gonna find new things that you like, um, new things that you need. Um, so very shortly here, I will give you guys a new update of what's in my gym bag, but that is it for now. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. Couldn't do this without you guys. If you like what you saw, leave your comments below, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.